Chapter 152, Cutting Leeks It is not difficult to buy a person's mouth, but the same sentence, from the foul mouth of a beggar in the market, and the sharp tongue of the learned and talented people in the forest, have a completely different weight. Such a simple truth, of course Zhang Swinning understands. It's just that you have to buy the latter mouthpiece, and the price is not cheap. And it's not enough to just buy a mouthpiece, you have to have two soft and hard cards in your hand, after all, literate I have soft bones, don't take some hard means as a defense, who knows that they won't change their words overnight. After some calculation, the cost is not a decimal. After getting the money from Xie Wei, she immediately gave Xiao Ding Fei 20,000 taels to spend first. Xiao Ding Fei has seen the world since he arrived in the capital, and it can be seen that a boudoir girl like Zhang Swinning shot 20,000 taels, as if she was looking for me after spending it, and she was still taken aback. Naturally, I feel that the thigh I am holding reveals a bit of unfathomable feeling, and I do my best when I do things. Zhang Swinning herself began to toss the matter of silver stocks. As the matter of Ren's salt farm in Shuzhong went smoothly, the news continued to spread back to the capital, and the stock price of Yanchang silver has gone all the way up. Three days ago, a fast horse arrived at the Shuxiang Inn, saying that the first batch of snowflake-like well salt had come out, and brought a small bag to the owners who bought shares in Beijing to see. Zhang Swinning was in the palace at the time, so naturally she didn't have the opportunity to see her. But before she entered the palace to study, the silver stock was 1,200 when a share, and when she left the palace, the price had soared to 1,500 when a share, and there was no market. Compared with the original price of 500 when per share, the current share price of Ren's salt farm has quadrupled. For the incident when the Marquis of Yanji's mansion was raided, most of the 20,000 silver shares in Zhang Swinning's hands had already been out, and Lu Xian took advantage of the fire to rob a lot, and only 2,000 shares remained in his hands. Seeing that the price is high at the moment, it is a good time to sell. To do the matter of cutting leaks, according to the words of Yu Fang Yin in the previous life, it is actually not very kind. And she was born again, and she knew more information than others, and it was very unfair to have an advantage over other people in the market who bought and sold silver stocks. So when making a decision, Zhang Swinning was not without hesitation and weakness in her heart, but thinking of her birthday in the palace, Shen Zai I was kind to her, how could she let her hesitate to spoil the big thing? Is to grit his teeth in the end or throw these 2,000 shares directly. Asterisk. When the news of someone selling silver stocks in the market came, Yu Yu was trying on the newly made clothes made for her by the embroidery girls of Xian Yun Fang in her boudoir. The best shoe brocade, light blue color. There were a few beautiful oleanders embroidered on the skirt, and she was slender, and when she put them on, she turned slightly around them, and her waist also had a little bit of a feeling of not being able to hold them, which made her look very satisfied. The maid next to her slapped her ass into the sky, our girl is really a fairy, this dress looks good no matter how good it is, and the complexion is extremely good. I heard that His Royal Highness the King of Lindsay is an elegant person, and Zhang Suiwai is boring and boring, how can she get His Royal Highness's blue eyes? On the day when you are selected, you will put this one on and keep it so that others will be dumbfounded. The position of this princess belongs to you. These days, Yu Yu has really been proud. Originally, Bafu was very resentful of her because of the fact that he paid to ensure her out of prison, after all, all he took out was real money, 15,000 tails of silver, and anyone had to spit blood. But after this incident, it aroused her temper, and in a fit of anger, she used all her savings to buy the silver shares of Ren's salt factory, which was 4,000 shares in her hand. Later, Ren Weizhi begged to marry Yu Fang Yin's little cheap hoof, afraid that she would make a hindrance from it, 
so he stuffed her with two thousand tails of red envelopes before and after. Naturally, her hands were rich again. At first, when the uncle and his wife learned that she was such a loser and used all the money to buy the silver shares of the salt factory, they almost fell ill and wanted to take out the silver shares and sell them. Fortunately, she was forced to stop by death. Now that the stock price of Ren's salt farm is rising, Bafo and Mrs. Bo are smiling when they see her, and they are more concerned about the rise and fall of the stock price than she does. Her status in the mansion naturally rose with the tide. And the Bafo didn't take Ren Weizi who asked to marry Yu Fang Yin in his eyes at the beginning, but he was just a dilapidated poor boy in the middle of Shu, and he married Yu Fang Yin completely on the face of the bride price. After all, she is the daughter of a concubine, and she does not lose 3,000 tails. But after the situation in Ren's salt farm improved, Uncle Ching Yuan and Mrs. Uncle gradually began to think about it. Uncle Ching Yuan said, How can she say that she is also the daughter of our uncle's mansion, it makes no sense that people will cut off contact with their family after they arrive in Shuzhong. The reason why the kid surnamed Ren was able to build the salt farm was not also because of the reputation of Bafu. The merchant married the daughter of an official family, and he took advantage of it cheaply. The place where Ren's salt farm was so big was that it was also related to the price of the silver shares in Yuer's hand, and they couldn't let them mess with it in any case. Let's pick a neat steward and teach them well, and also keep an eye on the situation in the salt field. He only issued 40,000 silver shares in the capital, accounting for 40% of the salt farm, and there were still 60% left. Anyway, you should take out a little more, and honor your father-in-law's family. So after the year, Bafu had already sent people to Shuzhong. In a place like Ren's salt farm, once salt production begins, the snowflake-like well salt is snowflake-like silver who cannot be moved when they see it. Yu Yu didn't expect Yu Fang Yin's cheap life to be able to hand over such good luck. It's just that she's not jealous either. But whatever Yu Fang Yin is, as long as she wants it, she can grab it. Isn't it also a matter of convenience for others to finish the wedding dress and wear it again? So Yu Yu is very relaxed these days, only tinkering with fat and pink clothes at home ready to shine on the day of Princess Linz's selection. Hearing the maid who came in from outside say that someone in the Shuzhong Inn began to sell silver stocks, she was stunned for a moment, and then laughed, the situation of Ren's salt farm is very good now, and I want to know what Zhou Tube well energy continues to collect silver, and it will take a long time for others to imitate it. I have silver stocks in my hand but I threw them away so early. Either I am short of money or I am short-sighted. The maids were a little puzzled, what about you, girl? Yu Yu's eyes rolled, but she smiled suddenly, her eyes showed brilliance, and she took the key and opened her box containing silver tails, and said with some excitement, others are looking at it, but it is a great opportunity for Miss Ben. Now I am worried that there is no place to buy silver stocks, there is no price everywhere. I must take the opportunity to take this silver stock. Then he took the silver ticket and seal, and went to the Shuxiang Inn. It's just that the silver stock market of Ren's salt field is so hot these days. The 2,000 silver shares that were thrown out were divided into four batches and released, and when Yu Yu arrived, the first two batches had already been snatched away, and she only had time to grab the last two batches a total of 1,000 shares, at a high price of 1,600 wen. Add to that the 4,000 shares in her own hand, and there are 5,000 shares. The other 1,000 shares were actually bought by Lu Xian. Because of the small amount of silver shares, he couldn't be sure which side came out, so he didn't care very much. After the silver shares were recorded, he went to Xie Mansion to find Xie Wei for tea. At that time, Xie Wei was listening to the sword book report on Zhang Swinning's situation. After hearing this, 
his brow tightened. Jian Shi pondered that Mr. Lu and his own husband had known each other for many years, and they both worked for Mr. Lu, and he had always been very concerned about the matter of silver money, and regarded wealth as his life, so he hesitated for a moment and asked. The second girl Zhang moved the silver shares, as if she had a plan. Is this a profit for Mr. Lu's side? At this time, Lu Xian, who was wearing a literati robe, had already walked over from the other side of the corridor, strolling leisurely, as if walking in his own home, with a full spring breeze. Xie Wei lifted his eyes and saw him. After a while, he retracted his gaze, raised his eyebrows slightly, and said, What do you know? Jian Chu was stunned. Xie Wei's expression was indifferent, and there was nothing unusual, in terms of business. Lu Zeyin knows everything himself, so he can use you to interfere. Book of Swords It seems that this is the case, but why do you think there is something wrong? Asterisk 2,000 silver shares, of which 1,000 were traded at 1,500 win and the remaining 1,000 were traded at 1,600 win. Zhang Swinning suddenly had 3,100 tails of silver in his hand. Previously, he gave Xiao Dingfei 20,000 yuan, plus his own 2,000 pieces of silver, plus more than 3,000 tails of silver stocks from the sale of silver stocks, and there were 33,000 tails of silver left in his hand. After she threw out the silver shares in her hand, the price of the silver shares in the Shuxiang Inn rose by dozens of yuan. When Lian or Tanger heard about it, she said that she had lost money. Zhang Swinning was indifferent to this, and didn't pay attention to it at all, only repeatedly emphasized to them that once there was a letter from Yu Fang Yin's side or a new news from Shuxiang Inn, he needed to find a way to send the news to him immediately. For the next period of time, it is naturally to enter the palace to read together. It's just that February 16th is the day when Shen Zhu, the king of Linzi, chooses his concubine, and it is inevitable that people's hearts will fluctuate in the palace, the day when Shen Zai, the eldest princess of Liang, goes to totter and kisses, and on the 21st day of March, many people in the palace congratulate Mingfeng Palace. Wen Zai, who is pregnant, had a grand birthday at the end of January. The palace was full of joy. It's just that gradually, some people began to find that there seemed to be a lot of gossip in the market. For example, the Tatar envoys were fierce and domineering in Beijing, and simply regarded the capital as their racetrack. For example, if the Marquis of Yanji's mansion is still there, why send the princess to kiss? For example, the one who sent Shen Zai, the eldest princess of Liang, to kiss was the mother of the queen mother, Xiao, who raised a flower-like girl at home to choose the princess of Linzi, and wanted to live a life of fine clothes and food, but wanted to kiss the eldest princess who was stabbed in the face by a thief when she was a child. For example, the eldest princess of Liang suffered misfortune when she was young, and her life was full of evil and sending her to her relatives may bring more catastrophe to the family. When it first started, it was just a blind story after dinner. Even the civil and military officials of the government and the opposition did not take it seriously. After all, there are often criticisms of national events in the market, that is, everyone talks casually, and there is no climate change. Speculation and rumors like these will naturally disperse after a short time. But this time, things seem to be different. Seeing that it has entered February, these rumors and criticisms in the market have not only decreased, but have become more and more intense. On the day when Erlong raised his head in February, there was even a scholar named Wang Ang who went to Beijing to take the exam, and when he was drunk, he directly said something like Xiao's wolf ambition should let their own girl go to totter and kiss. At that time, there were not a few scholars present. Wang Ang is also a well-educated person, 
and this statement suddenly stirred up a thousand waves like a stone, and it spread. Originally, there were only half of those who were for and half against. Unexpectedly, these words somehow reached the ears of Xiao Ye, the second son of the Xiao family, who had finally recovered from his injuries at home. Xiao Ye's little son suffered from Xiao Ding Fei's nest of birds in the mansion, and finally went out to listen to the criticism of these people, and he couldn't help but be angry from his heart. After he inquired about the source of these words, he directly used the silver, and let people secretly teach N.A. Wang Ang a lesson, so that the other party would not dare to talk nonsense again. It was this lesson that caused a big incident. Wang Ang is extremely open-minded, he has no silver tails on his body, and he doesn't know what friends he has made these days, so he gave him a lot of money, and he has become more and more wanton, and he has been soaked in the wine vat all day long. When he came out of the flower building that day, he was covered with a sack by a group of people. Punching, kicking, verbal abuse. The literatized body bones could not help but be beaten and he vomited blood from a serious wound at that time. Fortunately, at that time, the people of Jin Yi Wei patrolled the dark alley at night, and Zhou Yun Zi, the master of a thousand households, was strong in martial arts, stopped the bandits from committing crimes, and arrested this group of gangsters and escorted them to the Yaman for trial. What is the punishment of Jin Yi Wei? It didn't take half an hour for these soft bones to cry and call their mother, and recruited Xiao Ye, who was instructed behind them, to clean up. Naturally, the Kyuagong mansion spent a lot of effort to buy off these people who were interrogated to avoid the spread of the news. But where is the impermeable wall under the sky? In addition, this time it was Wang Ang, who entered Beijing to take the exam and had a meritorious reputation and it was as if he had stabbed a hornet's nest, and the crowd of sergeants Jing was furious, and he spoke up and down, almost pointing at the noses of everyone up and down the Kyuagong mansion and scolding. Originally, some people felt that the matter of harmony had nothing to do with the Xiao family, but Wang Ang just said nonsense after getting drunk, Xiao Ye, the second son of the Xiao family, was going to make someone secretly kill him. How could the world tolerate such bullying? It is very reasonable and unreasonable. The warm wind from the south blew the tips green, and overnight, the streets and alleys of the capital were already full of news that Xiao's heart is weak and wants to destroy Wang Ang's mouth, and it no longer matters whether it is true or false. The important thing is that Xiao's behavior has caused public anger, and all kinds of spearheads immediately turned around and they all threw themselves towards the former noble lintel. For a while, all the civil and military officials of the government and the opposition were stunned, and they never expected such a development. There is such a big commotion outside, and the palace is naturally not clean. More or less the news will come in. Zhang Swinning's old god is watching a play. Others are none of their business. Only Xiao Xu who has been getting the news from outside for several days, has become more and more depressed in her heart, and occasionally she will have emotions for some trivial things in front of people, obviously affected by those rumors in Beijing. Others may think that these things are all coincidences. But in Xiao Xu's opinion, what has happened these days seems to have been carefully planned. Otherwise, one after another, how could it be coincidental to this part? How could a literati who has always been soft boned dare to make such a big deal before the spring festival? Secretly, it was as if a hand was manipulating. She only felt that all the piles were coming for her. On the day of leaving the palace on the seventh day of the second lunar month, Xiao Xu didn't even pay attention to Chen Shiyi and took a carriage out of the palace and returned directly to the Kyuagong mansion, ready to deal with the matter in person. Zhang Swinning is slow. She and the others were behind, and they watched the carriage that Xiao had come to pick up the people and move away with billowing smoke and dust, and there was a three-point smile on her lips. In another eight days, 
the king of Lindsay will choose a concubine, and the weather is starting to warm up. Most of the companion ladies from official families in Yang's his eye have changed into new clothes. Yu Yu is even more flamboyantly dressed. After Zhang Xuning did not run for the election of Princess Linzi, she became more and more low-key in the palace, and the Prince of Dingfei did not come to offer his hospitality again, so it made Yu Yu feel that Zhang Xuning was not enough. When she walked out of Shunzhen's door, she deliberately took a step ahead of Zhang Xuning and bumped into her. Zhang Xuning raised her eyebrows to look at her. Yu Yu covered her lips slightly, not very embarrassed, and laughed, I'm really sorry, second Miss Zhang has been slumped recently, and she hasn't said a few words, which always makes me feel like I don't have this person. This one accidentally walked over, and there was no one in front of him, so didn't he just bump into it? Zhang Swinning looked at her, but she didn't have a seizure, but said thoughtfully, Miss Yu seems to have changed recently. Yu Yu was stunned, what? Zhang Swinning pulled the corners of her lips and smiled meaningfully, I'm a little fatter. In the end, Daekian is still slender and beautiful. As soon as Yu Yu heard her words, her face suddenly changed, and she subconsciously raised her hand to stroke her cheeks, and said in her heart that she had made a lot of preparations for the election of Princess Linza these days, and her skin had improved a lot and she also paid attention to not eating too greasy food, so that she would not get fat. So he sneered, I have nothing to say. After that, he flicked his sleeves and left Zhang Swinning behind, and went to the carriage that came to pick her up from Ching Yuan Bafu. It was only when she got closer that she chuckled in her heart. Because the maid who was waiting in the house on weekdays was standing next to the carriage at this moment, with a panicked, frightened, and panicked look, and when she saw her, she called girl, and tears rolled down. A strong uneasiness surged in Yu Yu's heart, what's wrong? The maid was very frightened, and trembled, and said, Shudi, the salt field, the salt field is on fire, and a piece is burned, and the price of silver shares is. Yu Yu's head suddenly exploded with a buzz. Her face instantly became hideous, and she grabbed the maid's arm, and said sharply, What nonsense are you talking about, how can something happen to a good person? The sound was so loud that you could hear it when you stood at the palace gate. Everyone's curious eyes were cast. Zhang Swinning stood on the side, her eyes swept over Yu Yu's body, and she cast it into the vast distance, under the blue sky. There were already a few shadows of flying birds, and the ice on the rivers and lakes outside the city should have melted almost away. At that time, Shen Zai I will go with him, which is about good.